Enjoy all your favorite sports like never before at BetMGM. Sign up using code Hawkeye and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. When you register with BetMGM, you'll get instant access to a variety of parlay selection features, live betting options, and the best daily promotions in the business. And with BetMGM at your fingertips, every play and every game matters more than ever. Remember to use code Hawkeye and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. Place your money line, prop, or parlay bets with the king of sportsbooks today. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly. BetMGM.com for terms. 21 plus only. Iowa only. New customer offer. Subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Please gamble responsibly. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. This is the story of the one. As a maintenance engineer, he hears things differently. To the untrained ear, everything on his shop floor might sound fine, but he can hear gears grinding or a belt slipping. So he steps in to fix the problem at hand before it gets out of hand. And he knows Granger's got the right product he needs to get the job done, which is music to his ears. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. No music, no intro. Another episode of Hashtag Saints Twitter Podcast. Ryan and I are very excited about the guest that's joining us tonight on the pod. We got the bro show himself, former NFL Saints cornerback Delvin Bro joining the podcast. Um, you know, so we're thank you for coming on the show. We, we appreciate it. How you doing tonight, Delvin? Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm doing well tonight, man. Well, we... We are, I would be, you know, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Ryan and I were, were big fans of yours when you were, you know, uh, a stellar cornerback, you know, for the Saints. Um, so I'm, we're just going to get right into it. We're not going to take up too much of your time. Uh, first thing I want to just ask you is the time that you were on the team, you know, you know, a member of the Saints, what were your kind of your fondest memories of, you know, being a member of the Saints and, and, and you know, playing for the hometown team? Man, you, you, you know what? Um, you know, just being able to, to, to get up every morning and, um, and, and, and speak to everyone at the, at the facility, man. Um, I, I would say those were my, my fondest moments, man. You know, just being able to, to speak to, to, to the custodians, you know, the janitors. In my eyes, they aren't janitors. You know, the, they are CEOs, they are bosses in my eyes, you know. So I, I, I just being able to speak to them every day with a smile on my face just to brighten someone else's day, man. Um, just, just thankful for the opportunity, you know, um, um, to live my dream, man. And, and not to only live my dream, but to live it in New Orleans, man, you know, from where I'm born and raised, man. So those moments were, were, were definitely were very defining for me, man. Delvin, I mean, your story is crazy. And I mean, a lot has been written about it. Um, it was mentioned a lot when you were with the Saints. Uh, you know, you balling out at McDonald 35, you know, in the Seven Ward, New Orleans, balling out. You know, you had that catastrophic uh, – neck injury, you know, on a kick return, kick return or punt return, and that threw everything for a loop. You still got to go to LSU. You know, they still brought you on to see if you can get yourself healthy. You know, things didn't work out. You, you know, you did around. You you did you know, with the uh, Arena League for a little while, and you wind up going to the uh, Canadian Football League with the Hamilton, uh, with the Hamilton Thundercats, and you know, had a stellar career there. Then, you know, years later, you wind up, you know, coming through, you know, on a workout and you get signed to the hometown team, the New Orleans Saints. Like, how, how just crazy was that as you look back on it, man? Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, those are like movie scripts that nobody would believe. And, and it's the Hamilton Tiger Cats, man. I'm hey, sorry, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, Tiger yeah, Cats. Put yeah. some respect, put some respect on the Tiger on the Tiger Cats. <laughs> For real, my bad, my bad. Like why then, nah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, man, but 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 
man, you know what, man? I, I just took it one day at a time, man. <laughs> you know what, bro? One day at a time, man. A lot of people wouldn't believe me, man. But 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 God was a big, big, big part of my 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 success and my journey, man. Um, mm. because there were days where 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 I wanted to quit, man, and give up. But but not on football, just in life, man. You know, I I, I, I try to commit suicide twice. Um. Mm. And, and, and being in dark spaces and, you know, it's all trials, you know, it's all part of my story, all part of my journey, man. And, and I'm very thankful for it because it, 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 it's made me who I am today, you know. Um, I, I'm blessed, man. I'm thankful for every step of the way, um, you know, from, from breaking my neck, man, because that's where it started, you know, started off, man. You know, I, I just tweeted something earlier today, man, um, that I was thinking about. You know, I went back and watched the, the, the injury again. And I, I I was dead, man. I was I was I was really I was dead, you know, yeah. uh, on the field, yeah. man. I, I was like when I when, when I made the hit, I was I blacked out. I was I couldn't move. I blacked out. I didn't I, I didn't see nothing, hear nothing, move. You know, I couldn't move. My teammates is you know trying to trying to touch me and trying to say, hey, D bro, get up. Like I, I'm like I, I hear y'all, but I'm like I can't move. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not me talking. It's just the thoughts that's in my head. Yeah. If, if you feel know what I'm saying, like it's. Like, it's, it was weird, man. And then I saw a bright white light. And I'm just like, man, my life is crazy. You know, it's crazy, man. And just the things that 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 that, that I've been through on my journey, like I say, try to commit suicide twice, how I got out of those situations, you know, um, you know, getting get in a situation with cops and, and getting, you know, almost getting shot at twice and, you know, bullets missing. Man, it, It's crazy how my life just was crazy. I, and God had a big, big part in it, man. Um, and because and, and, he got me here today. You know, so I'm, I'm I'm blessed, man. Blessed to share the story. Absolutely. Without question, man. That's just that's uplifting. It's it's inspirational. Just you know, yeah. bigger than football. Just just life. <laughs> just life. Um, and with that said, you you brought up the whole thing with the with the cops and with everything kind of going on in the world right now, and I, and I say in the world right now because I think there's more of a microscope of what's going on in the world right now, but for us as all being three black men, like this is, no, this is just, this is life for us. Like there's nothing yeah. new about this. Um, what, being an athlete, can you kind of just talk about the, the, the I don't even want to say power, but just how much weight that, you know, athletes, black athletes are, are coming out and, and really standing up for, for social change and, you know, racial, racial equality. How powerful is that, you know, just to hear that, to be on a, on a big stage? Man, it's very powerful, man, because we, we, we all know what's going on and what's been going on for years, man. You know, it ain't just happening now, man. And, and, and I'm, 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 I'm very thankful that, um, I, I'm able to touch lives and be able to touch, uh, you know, uh, other athletes and, and talk to them and, 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 and tell them to go vote, man. I just, you know, registered as a voter, man, after all these years, man. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that, man. And, you know, I got other couple, uh, other couple guys to go vote as well, I mean, to register to vote as well, man. So I think that's going to be big as long yeah. as I spread the message out, man. So what these guys doing in, in the social media is being on, you know, the, the, the national broadcast, you know, you got Brian Miller and all those guys out there doing the protesting. You got NBA athletes stepping out too, man. I think it's big, man. And I think it's big for the black community too, man, just because y'all can see us. Like, we, we, ain't been, we ain't hiding. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, that's, right. Let's be real now. Motherfuckers be like, oh, y'all athletes ain't coming out, nobody stepping out. Man, I'm seeing mm -hmm. the difference, man. I'm seeing the difference, man. Right, I'm that's true. Actually stepping out, man. And I don't hear this bullshit about athletes, well, what you doing behind closed doors, man? I, I promise you, Guys are working, man. People do things in different ways. But I promise you, the black we're stepping up for the black community, man. And I think it's a damn, damn awesome thing, man. It, it feels good just scrolling down my damn, my, my social media and just seeing all the positive messages, the protests and, the, and, and, and how things are changing, man. I, I, man, I, I think it's going to be a beautiful thing. But, but, yeah, that was a damn but, man. <laughs> it, 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 it's, 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 it's the other side now. You know, people people used to being comfortable. Now they're going to be uncomfortable, and, and that's yeah. not that's not that's not cool. That's not going to sit well with them because now it's like we are stepping. They're stepping down to our. I, I, I hate talking about it, but it's like <laughs> they're stepping down to our our level, and you know that ain't mm. cool. All these years they've been mm. at the top, the superior the, the, the superior race, and now 
yeah. we're trying to fight for equality, that shit ain't gonna sit, man. It's not. I promise you, bro. I promise you, it's not. So that don't be surprised if that's how a war start. The war start is gonna start between us. Is we're gonna we're, the shit we're gonna try to try to get equal and, and and they ain't gonna like it. They're gonna be too uncomfortable. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's gonna be too uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it ain't gonna fly. Cause we ain't gonna we ain't gonna tolerate this shit. You, you dig what I'm saying? And and I, I think that's how I, I think that's just, just how we're gonna start, I man. Everybody, unless yeah. we come together, but I doubt it, bro. Because the president, the head guy, is trying to fucking separate us. Excuse my language. Yeah. He's trying to right. separate us. So I, th that's just my point, man. But 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 the black community, man, the black athletes, man, we're stepping out. I'm seeing a lot of guys step out, man. I'm proud. I, I'm in coalition groups, man. I'm in Black Lives Matter groups, man. And the shit is beautiful, man. It, 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 it's awesome, man. It, man, it's all. I, I, I could go on for on, man, because I, yeah. I, it's, it's my history, it's my, it's, it's my culture, man, it's my ancestors, man. I, I, I want to do it for them. And, and you know, it's not, it's not even for us. You know what I'm saying? I've been mm. thinking about the whole thing. It's not for us, man. Not, this is not, not for us, man. It's, it's nope. not for us, bro. We're doing it for the people that, 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 that the, the ones that was before us. Everybody that was before us who couldn't speak out, social media is big now. We can speak out. We can get them to, we can even get a group of videos, you know, uh, of, of the older, or some of the older generation who's still alive, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and can do a clip, you know, and, and we can get them to actually voice their, their matter now and, and their opinion mm. because back in the day, they didn't have that choice. They didn't have that. They were silenced because they didn't have social media. Think about it. We have cameras. We have, uh, it's, bro, you can tweet one thing and that thing can go viral in, in, in overnight. Man, that would be powerful right there. If you got like all the old heads in the NFL the and the NBA, yes, really, really let speak them speak their out, mind. man. Let them speak out because they need to be heard. Their voices still haven't been heard yet, bro. Think about it. Think about it. Look, listen to me, man. I, I don't want to sound crazy, but this is me thinking outside the box. The COVID 19, what was the targeted group? Old, think about it. Older generation, older groups. Yeah. Think about who, yeah. who who was silenced back in the day. Get, think about who was going through all that shit back in the day. Think about if we get them to talk right now. Hey. Think about it. So COVID-19 was targeting what the age group? The older generation, the older 60s, the, the targeting that damn immune system. So you kill all yeah. that, how the heck could they talk? How could we yeah. get them together to come through and make a video? How could we get them to come and join together with us and, and be a force? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I don't know. I was just thinking outside the box, yeah. man. Like, like you go from COVID-19 to wipe that. Now we come to with the, with this, you know, the racial war, whatever we got going on. Um, and 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 and, and I, I think they need to be heard, man. Their voices do need to be heard, man. I I think their voices no, need to be heard. No, man. I think, I, that's a good, that's a good point you bring up because, uh, you know, a lot of times that older generation kind of gets forgotten about, or they mm -hmm. get kind of painted as a cartoon as mm -hmm. all they did was pe all they did was peacefully march they didn't make any big changes man, no, no, I mean, you didn't know those people went through Ooh. so much shit hell, that we can't hell. even imagine, exactly. can't even imagine. Exactly. cannot even you know? imagine it and, and so i mean respects need to be paid you know what i'm saying Absolutely. so that, that's a that's a dope idea if they can get like a video of the old old head the ones that are alive right and the ones yeah the ones still alive yeah the ones that are comfortable because some of them still probably be traumatic. Some of them still yeah. probably be you know, traumatized. Like it's because mm -hmm. that was, bro, you know, it was crazy. You, bro, like you go back and watch some old stuff, man, bro, man, I can beat the sh Oh, excuse me. Let me, let me man. shut my mouth, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Because it furious me, man. I just be so furious, bro. I, I, I can't see how a human, another human being can treat another human being in that type of matter. I wouldn't have made it back then, man. I promise you. It, man, I wouldn't have made it. I, I wouldn't have made it. I'm sorry. <laughs> We we've all had that conversation. What what hmm. would we would have done back then? You know what I'm saying? We've Boy. all had that conversation, man. But, but listen to me, listen to me. That's why it's our turn, man. We gonna stand up, man. We don't back down from nobody. This generation is the it's the one to do it, man. I promise you, because we're very creative, we're very thoughtful, we're very powerful, we're very strong, man. We we bro, you see how many people out here protest, bro? We have the world, man. You kidding me, hmm. man, bro? Man, 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 look, it starts from the top. We got to get rid of all of the, the government, all the political parties, all the government, all the judicial system, the, the, the court citizens, all that need to get from out of there, man. The republic system, all the parties. We need to clear everything out, man, from the president on down. Everybody, the police officers, we need all that out of there, bro, because that's the problem. They are the problem. We need to get all that out of there, man, and start fresh. We need to start, we can start by city, uh, state by state, uh, whatever, bro, but we need to do something, dog, because the system, man, is, is, is the system, the government system, the, I'm about to say the F word, it's F and everybody, bro. <laughs> they know. 
Yeah. We know everybody know. We know they know everybody. Come on, man. Oh, on that note, I want to ask you right quick. Uh, I don't really want. I'm not really worried about what was your thoughts, initial thoughts on Drew Brees' comments. But from a team perspective, obviously you don't know everybody that's on the team now. But being in that Saints locker room, knowing the you know the decision that Breeze had in there, and him kind of putting his foot in his mouth last week, and you know having to go through a lot, you know, issuing apologies and you know kind of his teammates calling him out, you know, it was a position that Drew Breeze has probably never been in in his life. So, I. I how, do, how can you see that working out in the Saints locker room? Do you think there's enough leadership there to kind of figure their, their way through it, uh, you know, from a player standpoint? <laughs> man, that's the – man, I, I can't speak on them, dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak on them, but I'd speak on me if I was in the yeah. locker room. I'm just not going to vibe with dude. You dig? Mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. I'm just not going to vibe with dude. And I'm going to leave it at that, bro, because that's yeah. – that, you, 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 but I bet you, I'm sure there's players like that will feel the same way as you. I'm right. sure. For sure. You know? Man, sure. come on. Man. Come on now. Yeah, you, social media, all that is a front, man. Man, come on, man. Mm. If you are real when you already know what it is, now. Mm. You social, you stunt for social media, but you know what it is in person. When I see you, you know what it is. Don't vibe with me. Don't talk to me. We keep it moving. We practice, whatever. Bye. You know what I'm saying? We, we, you, you, because I already know what to, where your mindset is. I already know what you thought. I already know what you said. I already know how you rock. Ain't no damn apology going to take that back. You say what you said. That's just how it is. That's how you feel. That was on your mind. You can't take that back. <clears throat> Do you think that uh, affects anything on the field? No, man. Play because you you got to play ball, man. Let's, man, listen right. to me, man. It's football, man. This is what you signed up for. But me, I wouldn't even go out there. Me, dog, personally, mm. I'm, I'm I'm taking a knee. Me, I'm I'm getting with my teammates, and we gonna sit in the locker room, or we gonna take a knee, or we not. I'm not playing. I promise you, mm. you that. But I'm going to practice. I'm gonna definitely show up. But I'm not playing until some shit gets situated, bro. Cause this ain't right, man. Until we get some shit figured out, man. I'm I'm with Cap all day, dog. I'm a, I'm not playing. I will advise my teammates. Hey, we're gonna sit down as a meeting, and we're gonna sit down, and we're not going out there until this shit gets solved. Kaepernick stood up for this shit, man, and nobody wanted to hear him. Now they hear him. Now we need to continue to keep put keep our foot. Excuse my language. We need to keep keep our foot on their damn throat, and we need to keep it going, man, because we need to get justice. And I won't play. I promise you. If I was in the NFL again, <laughs> we Delvin bro out you. What? <laughs> It's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because we see, we knew, you know, it's nobody just brought light to. We what, what you say, buddy? Just try to throw it underneath the rail. You try to paint a picture, try to paint them or cut them, just throw them behind, man. That's bullshit. You can't do that. No, man. Mm-mm. I'm taking that neither. I'm not playing. I'm sitting on I'm, you know what I'm uh, oh I'm in a locker room. I'm not I'm not doing it, man. Until we get justice, till everybody equally satisfied, we all get justice, man. All right, man, listen to me. And you know what, dog? I just found out something about the um the Florida Lee, man. Um, mm. man, that was that was pretty pretty um crazy. I, that's something that I never knew about. Um, you know, I, I never knew about the the, the Florida Florida Lee because you know in, in school and stuff they taught us about the you know rosary and how it's peaceful. It's yeah, Holy Trinity sign and you know it's 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 all that type of stuff. So I'm I'm, I'm you know that's what we was taught. So I decided to go. I'm, I'm thinking about making some shirts, and I'm like, okay, boom, we make some Florida, some Saint shirts, and boom, I'm gonna sell it. So I said, let me go do my homework on the Florida Lee real quick before I go. You know, I just want to know some more about the Florida Lee. Like, you know, just 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 doing homework. And I come up, and I'm like, I I, I go back, and it was like originated. You know, it was uh, branding slaves and. And 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 and, and uh, criminals like if you try to escape, they would they they would brand you like cattle, and 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 like they would like split your ears and all that. Man, like I, I said, wait, what? And they would brand them with the Florida Lee. Mm. That was, was the. I'm like, wait, they did that to slaves, and I said, oh no, they did that to my people. I didn't even know. I said, thirty years. I didn't. I've never was taught that. I never knew this. Nothing, man. So I just did my homework. I educated myself on the matter. I'm like, I'm not messing with the Florida League no more. I can't blame you, man. It's like, I can't that's rock just, with that, man. But that's like so much of our history. Things we think are beautiful. Right. Look into the history and we come, like, come on, man. 
Oh, but my thing is, why people so in? Why people so damn quick to? Oh, that ain't what it is to this day. Stop being so fucking in the. Y'all know, y'all knew. So, so that means y'all, y'all quick to judge on it. So y'all must know what it meant. Y'all, y'all must know what it was used for. If y'all quick oh, to yeah. just judge. Oh, I know. Yeah, it ain't that today. Y'all, you like y'all gonna try to go find the worst negative thing about the damn Florida Lee? Well, motherfucker, I didn't know about the Florida Lee at first until now. Who have learned about this shit? <laughs> Listen to me. Who have learned about this shit in high school and elementary school? Yeah, and man, story. You telling me? You telling me? You telling me these people right now with Florida Lee tattoos on their body would have went got that if we would have known this history in high school and elementary school, man? Hell no. Nope. Exactly. No, nope. so bro. I, people just be disgusting me sometimes because they want to deny the. No, f- it is what it is. It's facts. It's history. We ain't gonna change it. We can't change it. Right, and we we all it's have to. Repeat, but it's gonna keep to... repeating. But it's gonna keep repeating itself until we figure this shit out. We got to make changes. It's gonna keep repeating, dog. This history is gonna keep repeating until we make changes, dog. And, and them people are comfortable. They're comfortable, bro. They're about to get uncomfortable, man. And it's gonna be ugly, bro. I promise you. They're gonna get uncomfortable because they're not used to being uncomfortable. I'm telling you, it's gonna be crazy, bro. I promise you, man. That's why I say I'm about to go. I'm going to find me a, a, a black-owned gun range, man, and I'm going. I'm going to, you know, I'm I, I'm anti-gun, man. I hate guns, but but I, I know where hey. this is going, man. My intuition is 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 really high, man, and it's I I, I, I hate guns, but I got to go get scrapped, dog. Look, man. Look, man. Never nothing wrong with that. Nothing. I mean, you gotta you gotta you know protect yourself. You I gotta know, protect anyway. myself, my son, man. You dig? That's what it's about. I gotta protect me. It's me and him. It's me and him against the world, dog. Hmm. What's up, bud? So, talk. You know, speaking of the the Florida, Florida Lee, you we we. I mean, we can leave this kind of open of how much you kind of want to share, share, or not share. But obviously, there's there's the the whole thing with you know the injury that the bruise but obviously it wasn't a bruise can you just like uh, as much as you want to share about how that situation was for you and what what really happened yeah man um yeah man y- you know what it's 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 time for that story too man because it's 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 w- what's going on with this social justice man we need social equality we need we don't need this just in a, in a police force uh, uh, in america we need this in the workforce as well too man in the workplace as well man because you you know i've heard stories multiple times of how people getting sexually harassed and 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 people not in and and, and and people telling people but did not now the bosses are messing with their hours and and, and, and you got messing with their, their, their time sheets and all this shit just because they, you know what I'm saying? Like, and my thing is we, we, need, to, we need to adjust that situation too, dog, because, and, and I'm gonna have my situation too. Now I'm gonna talk about my situation too because I feel like at, cert, at a certain point in, in the work relationship or, or workforce, you have to have some type of respect. You feel what I'm saying? You have to have respect, man. It, it has to come to a point to where it's like, all right, we going too far. We need to tone this down and, and, and handle this like men. You dig? That's what I'm expecting because it's life, man. You're grown. We two grown men. You dig? You're supposed yeah. to handle. You're supposed to handle situations like grown men. But you know, it, it is what it is. So, so this. So it was uh, the third day of uh, training camp, man. It was third day of training camp, man. You know, coaches, everybody on my high horse, everybody like, oh, bro, bro, and Lattimore. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we. It, it's us. You know, it's Vladimir yeah. rookie year. It's my my third year. So it's you know we we bucket coaches everybody. Coach Payton High. We didn't think that no injury was gonna happen with me. You know, so I'm 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 uh, we're going through one play, and um uh, I I think it was Joe Morgan I believe he caught the ball and he was trying to cut. I think it was Joe Morgan if I'm not mistaken. He was trying to make a cut back. It was unnecessary. You know, it was under I'm the play over with. I'm trying to go off the field. He tried to make a cut back and his knee hit me right in my uh and my fibula, the one I broke in 2016. So I'm like, damn, I felt a little sharp pain. I say, all right, damn, whatever. So I try to run after practice with the team. And I, bro, when I took a step, I say, oh, I felt like, like I felt like when it, when it broke in 2016, I'm like, damn. I said, yeah, I think I broke it again. So I told my coach, I said, coach, I said, something wrong with my leg, man, I gotta go get treatment. He said, all right, go in there. So, you know, I go up in there, you know, tell the trainers everything and, 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 um, and, uh, and, and, you know, they're like, hey, we're going to go get an x-ray. We're going to go get your x-ray and everything, man. And, you know, so they go get my x-ray. Man, a whole four or five days passed by, bro. I didn't even get my first x-ray. They didn't, people didn't even tell me nothing about my x-ray, man. Mm. Mm. Not, not one thing. They didn't tell me anything. 
So a whole couple of days going by, nothing, right? So so this is me. This is Coach Peyton. This is the whole damn day. So Coach Peyton come down the first couple of days, you know, uh, after like, hey, man, how, how's bro doing? Everything good? He's like, oh, you know, there's something wrong. You know, they say there was a little contusion or whatever. They say it's going to take a couple of days to get over. But, you know, it, sh- it shouldn't be fine. Just a deep, deep, deep bruise. I say, well, can I see my x-rays? I never saw the x-rays. Can y'all show them to me? Because, you know, y'all ain't tell me nothing. I ain't even know that I, I had a damn bruise. Right. You feel me? Nonetheless, my shit was broken. I ain't even know. So, 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 so they're like, all right, well, we're gonna we're, we're gonna wait on Dr. Jones and them to come and uh and uh, once we bring once once they come in and then we're gonna uh sit down and we're gonna look at the X-rays and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna interview. Um, and uh, <laughs> that dude crazy man. And uh, so so you know so they all came in. They were sat down and. You know, we keep looking over it, and, and they're like, oh, yeah, you see right here, you have this. Lip. I see a mark on the damn thing now. You hear me, man? I ain't crazy, <laughs> dog. I see a little I see a little mark by my field, but he's like, oh, no, that ain't nothing. That's just a little contusion, you know, bone bruises, deep, deep bone bruise. This is where you had your injury last year, trying to feed all that sugar coating with all that bullshit. Then you're telling me all these big name terms. I don't know that. I ain't no doctor, man. You don't you don't just mm-hmm. go that saying all this junk, and I don't be knowing. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. So he's like, oh, man, what, what, all the said, no, it's just a bone bruise. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Boom, all right. That's when I found out. So a week later, that's when I found out. A couple of days later, that's when I found out uh, about my first x-ray. But come on, man. It's bullshit, right? So, right. so, so now I'm doing treatment and everything, and, and, and Coach Payton comes down, you know, three days past or whatever. A couple of days past three, a couple of days past, Coach Payton comes down. So is he going to – he said, so how is he coming along? Man, what? Like, I look back, like, what? I'm like, who is he? Because now he's frustrated. He's his, his mouth looking, yeah. he's looking all crazy at me. He coming yeah. down, like, he's coming <laughs> in the room, looking at me all crazy and shit. Like, I'm like, damn, dog, over, you know, over considered a bone t- a contusion, but something is wrong with my leg. I know something is wrong with me, fellas. I know this. I just had the same injury happen to me last year in 2016. Yeah. I know the feeling. And no one, no one knows your body better than you <laughs> exactly come on now so so he comes down there every day you know looking at me all pissed off and and one day so i'm go i go out there to practice one day i'm talking to Lattimore, you know trying to make sure I, I school him on his game or whatever you know making sure he right you know you know when my dog man i gotta make sure he good oh. coach pay come over there he go yeah look at this guy a uh, bone contusion right can you believe this like what I said, man, why you got to come over here telling me something, dog? Like, what you got to come over here telling me something for? You know what I'm saying? And he, oh, yeah, well, well since you out here acting like that, I'm, you, you, I'm, I'm going to trade you. You act like you don't even want to be here. I'm, I'm going to trade you. I'm like, what? Man, trade me, man. And he telling this in front of my teammates, dog. Now, we outside at doing training camp. We on the field now. He telling me this on the field now. So I'm like, man, you know, I'm going back inside, dog. I, I went back in. So that's one day. So then the next day, I'm, I'm sitting on the table. I have a couple of uh, teammates, and I ain't going to say their names or whatever, but, I, you know, I got guys in there. So, you know, they, they witnessed it. I got guys in there witnessed the shit now. So they got guys in there. He comes downstairs. <laughs> He's mad. So is he going to be ready? Well, Bo said, my trainer, Bo, was like, oh, no, we're going to have him out there today. We're going to put him in some drills and stuff like that. He said, you know what? I don't even want to see his face out there. I don't want to see his face. Don't either. I don't want. To, I don't want him coming out there on the field. Send him to the bubble. To I mean, in, inside the, the indoor facility. That's where he go work out at. What? Oh. Man, what type of risk? man? Dog? I'm like, man, what the? So he walked out of that dog. My teammates gonna be like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with him? Why he always coming at you? The last couple of days he been coming at you crazy. I say, man, I don't know. He said, you all right? Like my teammate, like you all right? I say, fuck no, I ain't all right, dog. No, would you be all right, man? You can keep harassing you all down your fucking back, knowing something wrong with you. But he's still on it. talking about his doctors, right? All oh, my doctors, this my doctors, the best day ain't lying. Well, man, something wrong with me. I'm telling you something wrong with me. You feel me? So then we get into the point. Now, at that point, bro, that's when I got pissed. I said, man, can we have these meetings in, in, in private? Mm. <laughs> because now you now you testing my manhood. Now, now you in front of my teammates yeah. now. You want me to put you want me to do something to bro, but I, that's not me, man. I'm a calm, cool, and collective dude, dog. Peace, love, and positivity. You feel me? That's what I'm about. So I'm not even about to sit up here and show you my card because I already know at the end of the day what I do to you. And I would go to, I, I would be wrong at the end of the day. You feel me? I would be wrong. So we yeah. started having these meetings in in, 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 in in private, you know, at the Hilton Hotel. Um at um what, what was that? The Hilton uh what training camp? What that was? That's the Hilton Airport, right? The Hilton. Isn't that yeah. by the airport? 
Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we were there yeah, because we started. We did training camp that year at at, at the same facility. Right, right. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remember, we came back and we did here. So we doing the meetings over there. So he come. They come pull me out of my meetings. They coach won't talk to you. I'm like, oh fuck. You feel me? Like, what this man want now, dog? Like, come on, man, because I'm hurting. Bro. I'm limping, bro. I'm limping at this point, man. It's, right. it's, it's, it's two weeks now. I'm limping. I'm, I'm, I can't go. Look, I even went out there to practice, bro. This man pressured me so much, dog. I went out there and practiced, bro, to try to go because I'm like, I ain't no hoe. I'm going to prove to this man I ain't no hoe, dog. Mm, yeah. You feel me? So I'm, I'm, I'm put on my hand. I'm like, I'm going to go practice. My teammates like, okay, bro, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody geeked and say, you know, but I know in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm hurting, man. So I go out there, the first couple of drills we do, I do a plant step, man. My damn Nick, bro, my whole leg, bro. My whole leg buckled, dog. Oh. I, said, man, man, I took my helmet off and I slammed that bitch. I said, man, fuck this shit, man. Boom! Threw my helmet. I said, fuck you. I went in the tree room. I said, man, fuck all that, man. Something wrong with me, man. Something wrong with me. I, bro, I was going off, dog, because they kept telling me it was a bone contusion, dog. And he keep fucking telling me, dog, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I'm tired of this man. Every day he keep harassing me over something. I, like, I know something wrong with me, bro. Right. You keep harassing me, but dog, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired, bro. I'm getting tired, man. Only, you only can take so much, man. The motherfucker keep coming down your back, dog, 24-7. And every fucking day I got to come to work, I got to hit this motherfucker mouth, bro. You feel me? So I just got fed up. So, so we had the last meeting. So I'm up in there talking to him or whatever. And he was like, I, I just don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm like, coach, what you mean you don't know what's going on? I'm telling you, man, my leg, somewhere on my, he banged on the table, talking about some call me man one more time. What? He bangs on the table and said, call me man one more time. I said, man, look. <laughs> what, you what you mean? Like, see, not that, dog. But but nobody, he don't want to go tell all that, dog. When the, the media and shit was out there during the training camp and all that, everybody asked the way Delvin broke, the way Delvin broke, got my teammates speaking up for me. But he's yeah. the one in the media with me. He ain't telling the media what's going on behind closed doors. So everybody can have a broad view as to what the hell is going on. I'm the one getting my ass chewed out behind closed doors. My teammates looking at me. Hey, look, bro, looking at with this old embarrassing ass face. I got to keep coming to work getting chewed out. But I got to keep my motherfucking mouth shut because ain't nobody asking me, Delvin, bro, what's wrong with you? What's going on? Ain't nobody never asking me shit. Next thing you know, I'm getting fucking kicked out the building for what, man? Huh. You feel me? Like, it's bullshit, dog. Like, but what's but crazy know, I'm not is... I'm mad, though, man. I'm not even mad, though, because... You know, he was trying to trade me to Dallas. You know, he after that little incident, he was like, well, you know what? I'm going to call Jerry Jones and trade you to Dallas. I said, man, trade me to Dallas. Dallas, beautiful too, coach. I said, I'm going to make the Pro Bowl team. <laughs> I'm going to be a Pro Bowl. I'm going to be an All-Pro over there too. You can't stop what God got for me, man. And look, all he could do is shake his head and put his head down, dog. He ain't going to break me up in this motherfucking meeting, dog. You ain't going to break me, dog. I try to be broke before, bro. It ain't happening. It ain't going to happen now, bro. I ain't gonna let you break me, dog, when I know something wrong with me. So I say, man, look, let me get my second opinion. Let me go get my second opinion. You know what? Go, go get your second opinion. They're gonna tell you the same exact thing. Bet. Boy, I went that, that boy, look, shit, I got in my car. Shoot, I went straight to Dr. Stewart. Two, two lane, went to two lane, uh, went to Dr. Stewart. Man, Dr. Stewart put me on an extra. That man came out straight, laughed in my face, man. Man, gonna laugh. Wow. Like, That's what you laughing at, dog. He said, he said, what they told you was wrong with you? I said, man, they told me my there was a bone into it, a deep bone into it. He said, man, your leg was broke for like two weeks now. And you was mm, practicing wow, everything on your wow, leg. Man. I was wow. practicing, bro. Man, had me out there practicing, dog. On a broken leg. On leg. a broken leg and practice. Not, not man, we didn't even talk about 2016, man. I, in the Raiders game, bro. That same game, I played four or five snaps because of this motherfucker pressuring me to get back on the field. Four or five snaps I played on a broken leg, dog. Mm, mm, Ain't nobody was... talk about that though. And that's the game you was going against Amari and had him looking. Yeah. Like, Killing his ass. Ain't cool, man. My, uh, he, he, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what, what his name was. I came and said his new Crabtree. Crabtree. Because he was boo boo. But you know, it, it's, 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 man, and, and look, I, and I, I want to tell that story too because it's inside the workplace. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, you have that power of authority, man. We can't do nothing because of what, man? I can't sit up here and go chest for chest with this, toe for toe with this man. I'm the one who's going to be kicked out the league. How the fuck I'm going to take care of my family then, man? So I got mm. to sit up here. But listen to me. What they want us to do is to sit up here and be fucking puppets and sit up here and bow down. But I ain't no nigga to bow down. Don't excuse my language. Y'all have to edit that out. But I ain't no, the no, person no. to bow down. Go ahead. Man. I, mean, I don't bow down for nobody, dog. I don't care who you is. What's superior? I don't care, man, because what's right is right. I fight for right, dog. That wasn't right, man. 
But what's crazy he's is him, but my thing, listen, he's crazy. No. But look, what's crazy is they end up getting rid of the medical staff. <laughs> Come like on, they like got rid of the whole medical staff. Man, come on, man. You man, listen to me, dog. Let me tell you how phony this is, though, bro. Because right after they fired the staff, we brings a whole we brings a whole team meeting. What we bringing a team meeting together for, man? The apology supposed to come for me, dog. Delvin, bro, bro, you supposed to apologize to me, man. Bro, damn, apologize to no team. And then your apology, some fucking story. You gonna tell us about some two thousand nine Super Bowl team or what happened with the hotel in downtown? Can't nobody wanna hear that, man. My teammates after that meeting, dog, listen to me, dog. That meeting, bro, as soon as he walked out that meeting, dog, my teammates came up to me. My dudes was giving me hugs, giving me daps. I was like, man, they fucking wrong, Delvin, bro. Don't take that as no apology, dog. That's wrong. Don't fucking take that. I say, I ain't taking that, man. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. And that's my teammates sticking up for me, dog. I bet they ain't yeah. say that, though. They ain't talk about that, neither. Yeah. It's wrong, man. It's all wrong, bro. And next thing you know, I'm out to leave for what, dog? And they messed up. I mean, you telling me that ain't right? Come on, man. I'm a top five right. team in this league, dog. And look, tell me this shit, bro. I go to Canada that same year and make all star, dog. Come on, That's man. Become the highest three. Come on, become the highest, uh, the highest paid cornerback ever in CFL history by a lot, a long shot. So you telling oh. me I wasn't ready to play, man? That's bullshit. Something went on behind closed doors. I don't know, but I know it was something foul, bro. And I got out the league. That, that's just what real. Nobody knew about it. Every, I, I'm tired of people, you know, kept asking, bro, what happened to you? What happened? You need to be back. Man, yeah. y'all don't know. They didn't tell y'all about now? Right. Keenan Lewis was trying to come out and talk about it. Well, guess where that went at? Underneath the rug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. Darius Bird was trying to come out underneath the rug. Come on. I mean, it's, I, it's, I, it's I, I, I don't forget. And look at the skin complexion. Not to talk about that, but all of us, we kicked about that motherfucker. You dig? Come on, man. Not to bring that in, but bro, it's real life, man. But the thing is, you know, it's well known coaches want players to play through injury. Like it's well known. It's well known, you know. So I mean you kind of speak to the fact that I've been saying for a long time you hear fans call play NFL players soft. Soft. I'm sorry, ain't no such thing as a nope. soft nope. NFL football player. The Absolutely. Sh- I mean y'all the shit y'all have to play through, back pains, knee pains, foot pains, mm-hmm. neck pains, I mean you name it. I'm sorry, that's not soft. You know what I'm nope. saying? There, I remember it's it's funny you bring that up because I remember I went on like a a blocking spree on Twitter when Jimmy Graham was on the team and he had the the plantar fasciitis. Yes, yes. And and people on Twitter were like, "Oh, like J- Jimmy's like Jimmy soft." Like I'm like yeah. this this man is playing through like you know how yes. how painful that is. Like he's yes, playing that's painful. Uh, he's playing professional football with plantar fasciitis, but like. Our fans, not not all of them, but like some of them, like so a lot of people just from that box, like if, if you have that that mindset for an athlete to think that this player is playing at prep, you know, whatever with this injury, but he is still soft. Like if you listen to this podcast, stop referring to any athlete as soft. Like just stop. You it you sound ridiculous when you do it. Because we don't, as as regular, quote unquote, regular people, we don't know what y'all go through, what you put your bodies through to be able to play at the highest level. So from that perspective, like, I want to send like an apology from, you know, social media to, to you guys as athletes, because it's ridiculous of what people can say about you guys sometimes, because we, we have no idea. We have no clue. Absolutely. Man, you know what? You, you know what? It's cool. I- Man, you know, it's cool because some of us players be want to interact and, 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 and let the fans know. You feel me? We want to do that, but we don't want to sound, what you, what you want to say, arrogant, cocky, or he's an asshole, because that's the first damn thing mm-hmm. that's going to, you know, that's going to gonna come out people mad. He's just a cocky asshole. He's just an asshole. Like, nah, motherfucker, I'm trying to tell you, 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 you coming at me with some shit, so I'm going to come at you. You feel me? Like, what you mean? But then when I come at you with something that you feel salty now, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I was just trying to get you to, wait, what? <laughs> Type of games you playing? Like, come on, man. We go through so much, bro. It's, 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 it's man, I don't, I don't know, man. 
I don't, I don't know what to say, bro. And like people just be looking like, oh, these soft them boys. They they don't want to do it. He he could play through that. Well, you you get your motherfucking ass out there. And get <laughs> Uh, uh, hand the frame. Oh, go play. How about go play? Look, how about this? How about you go play on four or five plays on a broken leg? How about that? You go do that. You tell me. You go do that and tell me uh, 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 another damn story about an uh, athlete being soft, please. Delvin, uh, man, I appreciate you just you know letting loose like that because I'm a, I keep that's, the that's honey, some. Though, this, bro, I, that, love that's some, I love podcasts. You don't hear that. I can honey, dog. I can keep right, it you ain't going to hear that on NFL Network. You know what I'm so saying? Good. Like, that, like yeah. that's real. But look, I want to switch up just looking at football yeah. a little bit. Uh-huh. Uh, cornerback is my favorite position. My dad played, played cornerback at LB Landry, you know, back in like 1960-something. <laughs> you know, he said he was cold. He was cold with it. But one thing I always appreciated about the position is, you know, it's – it doesn't seem really difficult as far as learning the position, but playing it has to be the most difficult of all any position in sports. I mean, because yeah. you're asking your body to do something it's not usually to doing, and you have to react to the guy in front of you. Like, mm-hmm. what's the challenge of playing cornerback? Period. I mean, CFL, NFL, whatever. I mean, how challenging is it? Man, you got to have confidence man if your confidence ain't there you don't need to be playing corner <laughs> you know what i'm saying I would tell, like, and that's it if you don't have confidence to play corner don't play it i advise yeah. you not to play it don't play safety don't play linebacker don't play defense in don't play nickelback don't play my middle linebacker go your ass on offense i don't want you on defense say your ass over there man Cause you got to have confidence to build corner, man. You got to. That's the number one thing. You ain't got confidence, man. You can't even build corner. That's it. That, that's it. That's that. That's it. You can ask <laughs> any the, corner back there. If you ain't got confidence, you ain't. You we don't need to talk about it. That's the main trait. That's, that's, the that's, main that's trait. it. You got to have confidence and short term memory, man. That's it. If you ain't got those two things, you don't need to be no corner. Because you're going to get beat at some point. You're going to get beat. You're going to get caught on. You're going to get scored on. You're going to get bung up. You're going to get ooed. You're going to get lost. You're gonna, you, and you're going to make plays. So, it, it, come on, man. It's, it's, it is what it is. You know? Speaking – I have a – not a follow-up question, but on a, on a much lighter note, can you just briefly tell, like, the story of how number 40 beca- became your, your number? <laughs> Oh man, really? <laughs> Damn, we, man. we we just we just got to <laughs> well, look, we we had Trav on. We had Trav on last week. Travis, who was a equipment guy for y'all. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's my yeah. dog. That's my dog. Yeah, that's, that's all our dog, you know. So he was like, man, he couldn't stand that forty boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's my dog. See, so so yeah, so I'm so you know I'm, I'm up there talking with Sean Payton now, you know uh, about to sign my contract and everything, man. And they like, so bro, what, what number you want? You ever envision the number in the Saints? You know, you know. I said, man, like just give me any number in the twenties, I'm I'm good. I said any number in the twenties, dog. Twenties, you hear me, dog? Like Sean Payton, like oh, you can do whatever number you want. But he sold the shit out there, did he? <laughs> boy, I said, all right, bet. Twenty four was available. Twenty seven was available. Twenty six was available. Uh, no, 20 wasn't available because Kyle Wilson had that. So they had, they had a couple numbers available before, you know, guys started coming in. P.J. Williams coming in, you know, Damian Swine ended up getting 27. Like, come on, dog. Really? I wasn't mad, you know, that they got it because I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go in on and pop off with 40. I'm about to make 40 pop in this. Pop in this. <laughs> Because when I was in, look, when I was in, when I was in, when I was in a uh, park ball, uh, I was number forty in park ball, man, for Garetti Saints. So I ain't tripping. I'm gonna make this thing pop. So you know, I did with it. I did what I had to do. Forty reasons, forty Glock. That's what they call me sitting on the corner selling. Oh, <laughs> let me not say that. Let me not say too much. Let me not say too much. Oh man, I wanted to ask you, bro. Uh, you know, uh, New Orleans. You know, obviously. Like, Saints and New Orleans, it's the same thing. You can't be in New Orleans without hearing about the Saints, feeling the Saints. Mm-hmm. You know, when you from here and we're going through what you went through with the team, has that mm-hmm. kind of uh, turned you off with the Saints? Or mm-hmm. do you still watch them? Do you still kind of root for the guys you knew on the team or whatever? 
Yeah, nah, man. Look, look. Since I learned the history about the Florida League, the only thing I'm I'm not doing is I'm, I'm just not rocking up with the Florida League. You dig? Oh, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. That's just I'm sticking to that point, man, because I, I love my ancestors, man, and, and to to finally hear that history after thirty some years, dog. I, hey, man, I, I'm gonna do it for them. I'm not rocking yeah. nothing with the Florida League on it, but I am wearing my black and gold, but nothing with the Florida League. So you go, you will see me in there, you know, with 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 with, with something black and gold, but nothing with Florida League on it, man. Oh. And that's from the heart. That's just that's just how I feel. That's just my opinion. You know, people may say, oh, well, it's not that no more. Well, F you and your opinion. That's your opinion. This is mine. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to go with. This is my choice. I have a right. Yeah. Right? This is what I want to do. Sure. I don't want to wear nothing with Florida because I already know listeners are going to be like, oh, well, I have nothing. I'm telling you. I know the history now. I know behind. I know the, the meaning behind it. I know of the meaning now. I know what it's used for now. But I educated myself, and I don't want to use it. I can't stand the Florida Lee. I don't like it. I wish they get rid of it, but that's my opinion. That's my yeah. opinion. So, well, from your so since you still, you know, you still rock the the black and gold. Absolutely, I'm from, a big Saints fan. So, you from an actual former, you know, player who's been in the NFL. What is your impressions of their, you know, of their defense, you know, as a, as a whole? Like, what you know, potentially. You know, I, I I love it, man. I, I love it, man. I just wish um, you know, um Dennis Allen would 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 go stick to that that Rob Ryan uh defense, you know, that man to man, because I think we have some talented corners that can play man to man. You know, you know, Dennis Allen is a, a zone type, uh zone scheme, you know, zone blitz type type um a coordinator. Um and, and you know, some some corners aren't aren't, aren't you know zone guys. You know, some guys yeah. aren't man guys, some guys aren't, you know, zone guys, you know, so you gotta you know, you got you to figure out your pieces. And I think we, we, we do well. We excel in man-to-man, bro. You know, um, yeah. and I, I think if, 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 if D.A. would, uh, you know, stick, stick to man-to-man, man, we can see Marshawn Lattimore's skills show, you know, almost every damn down. We can see uh, uh, Janoris Jenkins next year. Oh, my God, man, I'm so excited, man. You know, we're going to yeah. see his second. Think we have man-to-man corners while yeah. we run his own. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. Dennis Allen, if we can run man-to-man, please. Bro, I think we can we, – we'll do more. Let Marcus Williams stay his ass over the top and roam the damn thing. Let, let, I thought I heard they said they was going to put um, CGJ at the – at the um, – At the nickel. At the uh, uh, CJG at the uh, – whatever his name, however you say his name, at the, at the nickel, man. Um, yeah. But I think P.J. Williams going to hold it down, man. I love P.J., man. That's, that's my brother, man. He's been there since I was there, man. We came in as rookies. Um, and, 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 man, I, man, he's worked so hard, man. And, and I love the way he's grown from – from that rookie standpoint, man. And you see yeah. why he's getting these one-year deals, right? He must be doing something right in there, man. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I love his game. I, I think he should stick there and, and, and go. I, that, that's a good point because I, I would say P.J. Williams, and I know from some fans give him a lot of flack, but he, mm-hmm. he is one of the more underappreciated players on the defense, just in terms of, he he in terms of just tackling, he's for sure probably the best tackler in the secondary. Absolutely. He 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 loves to get his nose dirty, a sure tackler. Um, I mean obviously he you know he has you know his, his struggles, but when he's on and what he brings at the nickel, he's he's shown that he's grown so much as a as a player, as a rookie coming with a third round pick. Um yeah. and and has shown his worth. Absolutely. And, and what that goes back to, to, to being a DB, what I told you guys, the confidence. only two things you need to have, right? You got to, you got to have confidence and you have to have that short-term okay. memory, man. And that's something PJ has. That's why he keep, get, keep getting them one-year deals, man. You know, because he, he has that short-term memory, man. Like, he, he, he's it's gone. He come back and he'll make a play for you. You'll be like, damn, PJ, I forgot about that play. That play. <laughs> like you said, a hell of a tackle. Or he made a hell of a pass breakup. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm gonna give uh, props with props do, man. The guy, he's grown, man, since since that rookie year, man. I, I love his progress, man, and I think he's gonna do something amazing this year. Man, I just, you know, I appreciate your whole story, bro. Uh, I remember uh, when you were you your first training camp. You know, we I would talk with Nick Underhill. You know, Nick Underhill mm-hmm. used to write for the Advocate. Yeah. And I texted me, and you know, just you know, who popping, who popping the training camp? He was like, man, this dude Delvin, bro. Like, man, he covering everything. I'm like, Delvin, bro? For real? And I looked up on the history, and I'm like, oh, Delvin, bro. It's kind of sharpened my memory because I started thinking back to high school football and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. 
I got forgotten you know, about a little. I got forgotten about a little. Yeah, you got forgotten about a little. Bit. Yeah, that, that week one came on. I'm like, okay, okay. Week two, week three, you know, you had a little play here. I'm like, man. And then you know, Nick Underhill, he was tracking. He was really tracking you closely about, you know, how many catches you allowing and stuff like that. I'm like, man, this dude can really ball. So it's crazy for you to, you know, not only go through what you went through, but and get into the NFL. Getting into the NFL, that's one hurdle. But then to get in there and flourish and be like the number one cornerback on the Saints team. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that just goes to what you, you know, uh, taking adversity, you know, and going and looking it in the face and then just beating it down and just giving it your all, man. I just wanted to just tell you, I, I appreciate that. Like, that's something that inspires me. And I'm sure it inspires just a lot of people just on a human level. Nothing about sports or whatever, but just right, right. you know, people that get through their day or whatever they're going through. It's like, man, this man had a broken neck, died on the field, and right, just kept man. pushing, kept That's pushing. Crazy. You know, and you you crying about you ain't got enough money for gas or something like that. <laughs> nah, man, just keep pushing. You can get through that, you know. That ain't. That and that, that's the message, man. That's that's the message right there, man. That that's the message. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like people people be asking me, you know, like like what what did you do, man? Like I said, man, you, to be honest with you, I, I I prayed and I just worked my ass off. You hear me? Like I like I knew I was in situations to where you know I had to go get a job. Obviously, I, I was working at Subway at a point, bro. I was working at fucking Subway. How the how the hell? Wow. Up? I was working at Subway. I got fired from fucking Subway. How the hell you get fired from Subway? <laughs> Man, no, bro, I have some crazy, crazy stuff. Man, I got fired from Subway because I, I didn't learn how to make a sandwich fast enough. I say, well, damn, that's why I only knew football. I should have, I like, I should have really just got into the the restaurant business. You know what I'm saying? To like actually learn how to do some stuff. You're like at least get experience. But they fired me in seven days. What seven days? Eight days, bro. They stopped putting put, putting my hours on mm -hmm. on the I'm saying, man, I say, damn. I say I got fired from Subway. I say I can't tell nobody this. <laughs> That's very fun. But it's life, right? Shit, it's life. It's yeah. part of who I am. And that was a knockdown. You know, that was something that knocked me down. And I was like, yeah. you know what? That's adding fuel to the fire. You know, because God had a bigger plan for me. You know, I got worked at walk ons. Um, I, I was a bar back over at walk ons. And man, wow. it, it, it was a beautiful thing, man. I, man, look, all I did was just work, man. I didn't care about how much money I was getting. I just wanted to work. The boss was like, man, you working your ass off. I'd be sweating, bro. On my shifts, I'd be up there sweating. I'd be doing everything for the girls. I'd make sure everything was right, bro, because it was about details for me, man. I didn't care about the money. I knew all that was going to come, you did. It was about details, you know, making people smile, man. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoying the moment, bro, because y'all got to remember, I was supposed to be dead, bro. Y'all, and people forget about that. You feel me? Oh. I'm supposed to be dead, man. I enjoy my life to the fullest, bro. People look at me nowadays. I'll be barking, man. I'll be dancing. My, my music be loud at 6 a.m., dog. You hear me? Oh. My my music loud at 6 a.m. I'm up. I'm, 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 I'm getting right. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting right. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and because I'm blessed, man. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm supposed to be gone a long time ago. I'm not going to take no day for granted. You know? So when I, when, I, when I talk about, you know, my sports, so I talk about my story to people, I just tell them, like, just, just remember, like, it's, it's others always going through worse than you. There's always somebody going through worse than you. It's mm. always, no matter what you're going through. Yes, fuck, you just got a, broken out of a relationship. Yes, shit, your car tire just got a flat. Yes, like you said, damn, gas, you ain't got no gas money. You ran out of gas money. And so damn what? What, you going to sit and cry about it? Oh, let's yeah. go do something. Get on the phone call. Hey, mine, somebody, I need to, you got to figure it out. You can't just sit there and mope and bitch and complain and whine about it. Let's go get, let's make something happen. It ain't going to just happen to you. You have to go make it happen. You feel me? So that's and that's what I want people to, to understand. Like I didn't just sit in this motherfucker and say, God, please help me. Like just put this in front of my face and just give me the NFL right here. Just give it to me and I'm gonna go. Hell no, man. Look, I, like I said, man, I tried to kill myself twice, man. It was dog, it was a journey. It was a journey. And people want to know the recipe. Man, I, I I man, listen to me. I'm giving you the recipe. You just gotta take it and go for what it is. I'm telling you, you just gotta pray to God and you got to go get it, man. Remember, somebody always has it worse than you. Um, you've done kind of so much, not you know, post being being with the Saints. Um, so I know you got the you got the the bro show, you know, business going. So I, I, I want you to speak to our you know our listeners and and Saints Twitter about what you're doing with with bro show and everything. 
Oh man, it's it's dope, man. Um, yeah, it's it's something that came up with you know as a kid. I was was into the design, clothing labels, and designs and all that stuff. But I never really made it happen until uh, this year, man. It's it's the Bro Show. Um, and I, I kind of got the story, you know, during college. You know, I was playing flag football in college and stuff like that, and you know, locking up and doing stuff. So people would be like, "Oh man, we're coming to watch the Bro Show today." You know, just random people. You know, we just come watch the Bro Show today, and I was like, "I'm the Bro Show." You know, and it stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, the bro show. Okay, okay. So, you know, it kind of stuck with me. And that's, that's something that I, I was like, okay, I can relish off this. I can, you know, I can, I can make this go big. Mm -hmm. So now when, when, when I have this, this shirt, right, when, when, when I see you with this bro show shirt on, man, it, 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 it tells a story. It, it tells the story of my journey. You know, it, it tells of inspiration. You know, it tells of motivation, dedication, determination. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's spiritual, you know, godly, never give up, faith. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't give up. You know, always give God the glory, you know, for glory. That's what I say, hashtag for glory, man. You always just got to give God the glory. So whenever I see that shirt on anybody, man, that's what that sign telling me. I got your back. You got my back. Simple, man. You ain't going to give up. I ain't going to give up. That's what that's telling me. I'm a fearless believer in never giving up. You have that shirt on. So that means you you believe what I believe. You did? So I, I think it's dope, man. And, 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 and like I say, I just want people to support it, man. And, and if you don't, just like the post or like it or retweet it for somebody else to see it because somebody else might, you know, be going through something that need them a little motivation or inspiration. And I, I, I think that 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 what tells it. So, yeah, man, it's pretty dope. Um, Instagram, I'm on Instagram. You can follow at brochure 40 or brochure underscore apparel underscore. And yeah, that's it, man. And then you got that, uh, you got a documentary out there on YouTube, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So I've been doing a whole bunch of podcasts, documentaries. This, 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 this whole pandemic, man, coronavirus actually was a blessing for me, man. That's how I'm, I'm taking this. Um, and, 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 you know, I've been doing documentaries with Bleach Report and, and, you know, going to Cali and, you know, just doing some stuff. I want to get into acting. So I've been doing some stuff with that, man. So it's, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of unique, man. Um, um, so, so, so yeah, bro, I mean, I'm just excited. Man. I have a whole bunch of stuff coming, man. And, 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 and like, so you can go check out the YouTube. I have Delvin bro channel on, uh, on YouTube is just Delvin bro. If you type in, you can see all my videos, my inspirational videos, my DB videos, uh, just everything, man. Every, everything you want to know. I even got my son up there too. So I'm trying to get him going, man. So, you know, it's pretty dope, man. Well, I appreciate it, man. I mean, all I want to all I want to do is, you know, I I just know as far as Delvin, bro, sky's the limit for you, bro. Like, whatever you're trying to do, I know you're gonna put your mind to it and give it a one thousand percent. So, I am just go for it, man. Absolutely. Well, we want to appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, you can follow Delvin on Twitter. That's Bro Show Two Four. Um, you know. When we, when, you know, we make sure, you know, we're also going to retweet, um, you know, put that on your timelines, you know, the, the shirts and all that for Delvin. Uh, okay. We can't, we can't thank you enough for coming on Delvin. Uh, we really appreciate it. Great conversation. And we really appreciate you having an open space to, to tell your, to tell your story and to tell, your, to tell your truth. And, and we appreciate you being able to do that. Cause like you said, this is podcasting. Right. This ain't no NFL Absolutely. network. This ain't no ESPN. Nope. You can nope. tell your story, how it is and how it happened to you. And we appreciate you doing that and being honest and being open. We really, really can't thank you enough. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also, man, so, so we can make it easier. Uh, my website just got up. Um, I, I had to redo everything on my website, but it just got up. I just got the text from my, my website guy, man. Boom, we up and ready to roll. So you can go to uh, broshow.com, www.broshow.com. Y'all can go click on the, the, the three lines and go to store. Y'all can go see everything up there, man. I'm about to start. I'm about to go in on and get my winter line and stuff ready, man, with my hoodies and all that stuff, my scarves, yeah. my, my toques okay. and my beanies, my brochure beanies. You know what I'm saying? So we're we going yeah. we, we, we to do it, man. And um, I'm just, I'm excited, man. Let's go. All right. So we're going to get you out of here, Delvin. Uh, thank you again for coming on. Uh, another episode of Hashtag Saints Twitter Pod in the books. We really enjoyed having Delvin on the show, you know, speaking his peace, speaking his truth. And with that, we're going to get out of here. We're out. Absolutely. Peace. Thank you, Jimmy. Peace. 
Enjoy all your favorite sports like never before at BetMGM. Sign up using code Hawkeye and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. When you register with BetMGM, you'll get instant access to a variety of parlay selection features, live betting options, and the best daily promotions in the business. And with BetMGM at your fingertips, every play and every game matters more than ever. Remember to use code Hawkeye and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. Place your money line, prop, or parlay bets with the king of sportsbooks today. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly. BetMGM.com for terms. 21 plus only. Iowa only. New customer offer. Subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Please gamble responsibly. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. This is the story of the one. As head of maintenance at a concert hall, he knows the show must always go on. That's why he works behind the scenes, ensuring every light is working, the HVAC is humming, and his facility shines. With Grainger's supplies and solutions for every challenge he faces, plus 24-7 customer support, his venue never misses a beat. Call quickgranger.com or just stop by. Grainger, for the ones who get it done.